Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the TIBCO Advanced Analytics Meetup for Q4 2015. I'm Michael O'Connell. I'm on the data science team. Today, we're going to take you through a number of interesting topics using TIBCO Analytics products, especially uh, Spotfire. Uh, I'll walk through some of the uh, analysis pipeline processes and components, hand off to Catalina to build a dashboard, a Spotfire dashboard on the fly and show you how that can be configured. Then hand off to Peter and Anna uh, to walk you through some data functions using the TIBCO uh, Runtime R engine, uh, specifically applied to customer analytics for customer churn and lifetime value uh, estimation. Um, we'll then move into some data access and API components with uh, Andrew and Matthew uh, using featuring our Spotfire APIs, uh, Iron Python in particular, and the map chart and uh, advanced geoanalytics. And then we'll wrap up with some questions, um, training and links and, and resources. So if we think about the data analytics process from firstly deciding what to work on, making sure you're driving value through increasing productivity, growing revenue, reducing risk, and then pulling together the data from a variety of sources. Uh, Spotfire consumes data in a very flexible way. And we'll, we'll show you some of that, but either direct in database or bringing data into memory or data on demand. Um, mashing up the data um, from various sources, pulling into Spotfire for exploratory data analysis where you can visualize, aggregate, shape, uh, merge, map, uh, filter the data to construct features that have the information uh, informing the business problem that you can then put together in a dashboard uh, to give guidance and self-service to, uh, to others. Uh, we'll show you then how to take the next step of modeling uh, some of the key uh, variables that drive value and then deploy those models uh, into inline systems. The platform uh, includes a client tier. Spotfire Analyst is where we'll be working primarily today. We also have a consumer and business author, a desktop, an iPad app. Uh, some of these web uh, components are sourced through the web player server. Uh, and then the uh, Spotfire server manages the, the backend components, uh, connects into the library where you include your or manage your templates, uh, information links to data sources, scripts of any nature, especially including TIBCO R types of scripts. Uh, that uh, application service tier also includes our automation component, our statistics services, including TIBCO R, but also including other statistics engines, and then facilitating access to our geo services for geolocation and mapping uh, capabilities that Matthew will talk about. Uh, advanced Data Services is our federation and uh, virtualization layer, uh, enables um, uh, administrative control of, of caching and so on, um, separating um, the data access from the source systems if you need to do that. Uh, ver variety of data source connections uh, and then security through uh, uh, into the library, uh, synchronizing with systems like uh, Active Directory and so on. So that's the platform. It's a cloud-first uh, engineering approach that we take uh, four releases per year in the cloud, uh, two releases on premises. Uh, we're a leader in uh, in those areas, um, and we'll be uh, showing you today mainly the Spotfire Analyst, but a lot of the new features are coming out in the cloud uh, uh, first. We'll start with the journey with self-service dashboards. You know, Six Sigma philosophy says if you want to improve a business process, you first have to measure it. Uh, we will build a dashboard for you uh, using the latest features of Spotfire that make this very simple, including our new recommendations engine. Uh, we'll then move into some predictive analytics, uh, especially for the customer uh, journey, customer engagement, uh, and then into some API and uh, event processing pieces uh, as to round out the journey, take us into more uh, real-time applications. But let's start with, uh, with measurement and diagnosis. You know, Spotfire has a wonderful graphics palette, very simple to configure, an interactive brush-linked uh, dashboard with a few clicks. You'll see a demonstration of this. Uh, the graphics palette can be extended uh, using our TIBCO R platform, um, creating polygons that can be uh, made interactive very simply uh, to do things like automatic outlier detection. We have some extens extension graphics like 3D rotation network uh, components and then using R to uh, layer um, say areas onto maps uh, and surfaces. 
The uh, palette can also be extended with um, JavaScript, uh, for example, the D3 project or libraries like HiCharts to create things like dials and Sankey diagrams, donut plots, uh, Gantt charts, uh, and so on. The visual analytics can be woven together into dashboards. Catalina will be giving a demo of this, um, but things like KPIs across the top uh, where you can quickly see things trending up or down, drilling into uh, lines of business or uh, revenue by time or year um, with deltas and so on. So uh, easy to present data for the business user. And we can theme these, uh, for example, to themes of the company logos uh, to show these uh, to executives, um, allowing you to brand uh, your dashboards and easily get them recognized by folks around your organization. The color themes, uh, sometimes a black background can be very uh, useful if it's a simple uh, layout. Here we're looking at California drought from May 2013 to 2014 to 2015 and showing the heat of the drought uh, in, in these red and amber color schemes you know, as opposed to looking at water reduction in a cool color set uh, highlighting uh, issues, say for example in Southern California. Um, but the use of themes and color in dashboards can be uh, useful in communicating information in the data. Uh, the map charts are a second to none in the industry, drilling down from you know, country to state uh, to city uh, to neighborhood, uh, all the way down to street level uh, for different applications. Uh, the map layers, uh, you have ultimate control over the markers, the features, the base map, images, uh, web mapping service. Uh, each of these layers can be configured in different ways. The base map has a number of options that you can use with or without streets, um, borders, uh, labels of cities, and so on. And then each of these elements can be controlled with columns in the data set, just like any other spot fire chart. Uh, you can control things like color, shape, and size by different columns of your data set, put on relative amounts through pie charts, color the features, uh, control over tool tips, labels, and really a full featured analysis. So with that as backdrop to our uh, basic uh, visual analytics and dashboards, uh, I'd like to hand off to Catalina uh, to build one of these dashboards for us uh, on the fly uh, using data from the energy space. Catalina, thank you.